what up and welcome back to my channel this has been a little minute okay but i got a recipe for you okay and i've done this before so you know if you look under my side dishes playlist this is another one under here when i use this booker soul food starters but you know let's get into it make sure you like comment share and subscribe okay so i'm using cheddar jack cheese and kobe jack cheese no not kobe jack just kobe I didn't even know they just had Kobe. I thought it was just Kobe. I thought it was always Kobe Jack. But no, Cheddar Jack and Kobe. I grated them fresh because if you know, you know that fresh grate just hits different, okay? It melts different, it hit different, and you're going to... Well, you saw what I'm, what I'm talking about. It just hit different. If you got to use the bag cheese that's already shredded, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But I prefer to grate it fresh if, if I can, if I got the time. So this is it. This is that Booker's Soul Food Starters Mac and Cheese Seasoning Mix. Now, he do, they, he, I'm not sure. He, um, there's other ones. He got some, like, one for yams. He got one for collard greens. I think it was one for peach cobbler I saw. Now, I got mine from the local Meyer. So, do with that what you will. But I, what I will say is Google is your best friend. So, whenever you're trying to find something, just Google it because that's what I do. When I'm trying, because it'll let you know what's near, or what you can, where you can find it online. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Google is it's, it's it's beautiful. It's it's a beautiful thing. So I'm just following the packet. It say one cup of water, and you put the whole seasoning mix in there, and just stir it up real well. Okay, because this is basically dried egg. Because it got the ingredients in the bag: dried egg, dried milk, and seasonings. I think that's like all that was in this. But it smells so good. Like when you get it mixed up and you get it, you know. It, it get blended. It smell real nice, Booker. I like what you're doing. Like, this is basically the packet is, is saving you time. It's giving you that old school black aroni mac and cheese taste like your grandma used to make. Like, in the black community, it's, it was my nana used to make it like this. Like, it tastes just like my nana. Like, it, it just give me... It give me so much nostalgia when I eat it. Like, I love it. It For certain meals, though, because I make this for Sunday. It definitely remind me of Sunday. It remind me of Thanksgiving. It just, it gives you, in the, it gets you in the vibes. So, I did my mac, um, I, no, wait, I know what I'm doing. The elbow, elbow noodles. I boiled those, okay? One cup. It just followed the directions. That's what I did. I followed the packet directions when it comes to the noodles. I just... I did one cup of noodles, and then I forgot how much water it said, but I just followed the the packaging on that. Because this is only going to make a small side. This packet is not going to make a huge thing, okay? So don't think it is. I just did hit it with some black pepper, a little bit of Shahin Farms, Italian herb, and garlic, and a little bit of garlic salt. You ain't got to really put too much seasoning on this. Like, it's really fine by itself. Because like I said, the packet does have seasonings in it. You can smell it. But we just following the packet. So it said to add the... Add the little the milk mixture to the noodles, and then add your cheese and add your seasoning, and just taste it. Just make sure you taste it. Make sure that it's the taste is there before you put it in the oven. Before you serve this, we always gotta make sure that it tastes how it's supposed to taste. Okay, you never want to give nobody no food that don't taste right, especially food that you didn't try first. That just don't make sense. I don't know who out here doing that, but that don't make sense. I try all my product. I try everything that I make because. Duh, you need to. It's for safety purposes. Why would you give it out to somebody else? It's like, no, no. Try your product. Try what you making, okay? Even if if it's nasty, everything I make ain't good. Like I don't, I don't made some stuff that I didn't like, you know. Glad, I'm glad it don't happen often, but it 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 happens, okay? So I just went ahead and put it in my little baking dish, which is per. You see, it's a perfect size. I think I got it from the thrift store or something. Or the Goodwill. I love thrifting. Okay. I love that because people be throwing away or giving away basically some good stuff. And I'm going to get it. Okay. I'm going to find them. Wash real good. And I'm going to get it. Okay. I love dishes. I love little di like little candy dishes. Little everything. Yeah. I love all that. So I just topped it with more cheese. Made it look nice. Okay. Because I'm a perfectionist. Okay. I am a perfect perfectionist. I got to make it look nice and pretty. Then I baked it on 375 for about 30 minutes. The packaging, the packaging, however, says like 350 for 35 minutes. You can do that if you want to. Follow the packaging to the T if you want to. But I did it for 375 on 350 because I wanted that black aroni look. You see that? You see the brown, that dark brown, dark brown tints? Yes, that's what I want. That's exactly what I need. Okay? Ugh. 
it was so good. It's so good. Like, Booker really need to sponsor me because the way that I be tearing, I don't make these often, but when I want a quick baked mac and cheese without having to do all the work, that's what the packaging is. The packaging is all the work. So all you got to do is mix that up, put that, combine it with the noodles, the butter, because all the, the packaging say you need is noodles, butter, and cheese. Noodles, butter, and cheese. That's it. You use whatever noodles you want. It's say elbow, but use what you want. It's fire, okay? This was Sunday dinner, so I made it with some... I had some cabbage with it. I made some barbecue baked drumsticks and honey butter cornbread. It was delicious. It was. I wanted, like I said, I wanted some soul food dinner. I wanted that real soulful, soul food, like... That taste, that 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 vibe, I wanted to feel it. And this was it. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe.